Hey everybody, it is your boy NC07 here. Welcome to another unboxing video. And originally I was going to do another Puyo Puyo unboxing this week, but I ordered something in the mail that finally came in that I want to unbox. This thing, the Fire Emblem uh, Warriors 3 Hopes Special Edition. So this special edition of the game, I have the normal copy of the game right there, um, <clears throat> which is I bought on day one, but... Uh, this, they made a, uh, collector's edition, which was only released in, I believe, Japan and Europe. However, this is actually the Korean version of it because this is the cheapest one I could find on eBay. And the reason I wanted to get the, um, <clears throat> special edition of the game is mostly just because, uh, Fire Emblem special editions are just not made in a very high quantity, and I, I, I didn't want to just get, like, the European version just because, like, I, I don't know. I kind of feel like, it, I don't know. I, if I could have done that, I would have just bought the European version of the game. But I don't know. I don't know. I still want the collector's edition because there's some stuff in here that I think is really cool. So I figured we may as well take a look at this. Now, the Korean version actually has some stuff that is not included in the other versions. Um, I believe this one does actually come with a poster, but... I actually gave the poster to a friend, uh, but it's basically just the same art as this, just without the logos and whatnot. So let's take a look at this. Uh, so this is the front of the box, very nice looking. And then we've got this for the side. Same thing, Nintendo. And then on the very back we've got Pretty much the same thing as the normal game it shows us some pictures and whatnot and then it shows us the um contents the you get the game with it the art book and then you get postcards which is interesting <clears throat> but with the other versions of the game i'm not entirely sure of which specific versions but the other versions actually include acrylic like stands for like the characters so like they have like these like like acrylic like cutouts of like Edelgard, Dimitri, and Claude uh, that like you could put on like a shelf or something like that. But this one does not come with that, which <coughs> isn't really too big of an issue for me. So let's actually get this thing opened up because there's actually quite a bit to go through. I'm not gonna go through like literally everything because like at that point I'd say you should probably get it for yourself. Pull everything out. And that's pretty much all that there is inside the box. We have this little sleeve and then we have the art book, which we'll get to that in a little bit. We'll start with these first. Um, and this is the uh, game right here. The, well, I guess, well, the Korean version of the game, which um, I actually have the US copy right here. So I'll just go through this instead. Um, pretty much the same as any standard Switch game, very similar pictures just in a different uh, formation. And then you got Map of Foldland in there, and then the place where the game card is. But it's in my Switch right now because I've been playing it recently. And then we get into this, which uh, this right here is like a little sleeve that holds the postcards. And I, really, I am gonna try and go through all of these. Uh, because these are pretty, these are like pretty cool. Like, I don't see like a, a big use for these things, but I, I still think they're kind of cool. So we'll go through these. We got Shez. Then we got female Shez. Right, I'm going to have to go much faster at this actually. <laughs> okay, Arvo. And then we got Edelgard. Hubert. Dorothea. Okay, I'm going to have to go way faster at this. <laughs> Ferdinand von Eyre, uh, Rip Billy K. Hey, you're a great voice actor. Uh, Bernadetta, but weirdly enough, these are actually in English, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Okay, I'm gonna have to go way faster with this. This is not good. I may have to clean this up on my own time, but oh well. Let's grab a bunch of these. Caspar, Petra, uh, Linhart. And then the new member, uh, Monica, not the DDLC character. And we got the blue lines. We got Dimitri, Dedu, Felix, Mercedes, Ash, Annette, Sylvain, and Ingrid. 
And then we got the Golden Deer. We've got Claude, uh, Lawrence, Hilda, Raphael, Lysithia. Got Ignatz, Marianne, and then Leone. And then we got the Ashen Wolves. We got uh, Yuri, Balthus. Uh, just the normal constants, not the depressed one, and happy. And then we got both violets, and then Sothis. Jesus Christ, that was a pain to go through. But that's all the postcards. I'll arrange those back in their original order after recording this. But that's pretty much that for the postcards. And now into the, in my opinion, the most interesting part of this, the art book. Now, I'm not going to go through the entire art book. I, I'd say if you want to go through the entire art book, I'd recommend just buying it yourself. Uh, I know it's not, like, the easiest thing to buy, but um, I'll go through, like, a few pages of this thing. So, you got, first of all, we got, like, artwork of uh, both chaises, and then we got, like, some concept designs. But not, this is going to be difficult to hold. They got, like, this other design for, like, their mercenary outfit with, like, these hands, which I think isn't used in the game, but I don't know. And then we got the various portraits for the various types of outfits for both of them. Yeah, this is going to be a pain. I'm not going through all these. We got Arvel, and we got, like, some different colors for Arvel, which is kind of interesting. I kind of just prefer them going with the whole white aesthetic. I think that's just better, in my opinion. And I got the portraits, and then... I'm going to just flip through some of these. Uh, let's see. We'll go look at Linhart, which... Noblest as, more noble as ever. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm only going through, like, a couple of these pages. Let's take a look at Bernie. I'll hold it this way. That might make it a little easier. She's, like, really happy in that. I don't know. She just looks like she's got some sass to her. And we also got, like, some artwork of, like, the dads in the game, which is kind of cool. We got Felix. We got all that stuff and, like, his design. Where he's kind of got, like, Rodrigue's cloak, which I think, I don't know, like... I, I thought originally that he was going to, like, give it to Felix, considering, like, now Felix is, like, the Duke for Aldarius, so I don't know about that. Then we got Ash. Unfortunately, it's not really as interesting as I would have liked. Like, I, I like that they have, like, all this, like, art and stuff like that in here, but it's, like, I do kind of wish they went into, like, more, like, really early designs and, like, kind of seeing, like, what we couldn't rather than just the sketches of the final character designs. I've, I don't know. You got Marianne. Looking as divine as ever. Look at that face of hers. She doesn't know what to think. You got Leone. Which, eh, it's fine. It's not as bad as like the pre time skip. It's not that interesting. And then we finally got Holst, the one guy that was like, completely absent from three houses like they mentioned him all the time in the golden deer route but like they never ever had him on screen which i think was a really good idea i don't think there's really too much else it's just portraits and whatnot for the characters oh then we got like the ashen wolves then we got like objects and stuff like that in the back and that's pretty much it i'd say like if you want to look at the <clears throat> Entire book, like, for yourself, I would recommend just, like, checking that out. Um, but, yeah, that is pretty much the Fire Emblem, uh, Three Hopes, uh, special edition. And for $120, I would say it was kind of worth it. It's not, and, like, I won't, I won't deny, like, I know, I, this is only something that I feel like is gonna get more expensive with time, and this kind of why I bought it. So, like, if you're wondering why I get this... To be honest, I should have bought the European version, so that way, like, because now I've got, like, an extra copy of the game, but I'm not going to open it up. And it's still sealed, too. Like, I'm not opening it up, because there's no point in opening it up, because I've already got the U.S. version of the game instead, that I play instead. But, I don't know. But, 
it was so fun to have this. It's still fun to put this on the shelf and kind of have it as a little trophy. Because, like, Three Houses is, like, one of my favorite Nintendo games ever. And, like, Three Hopes was a pretty good game, but it definitely had, like, a, it definitely had its shortcomings, especially with, like, the story. I'm going to make a video about that next week, so uh, tune into that. And if you want to know, like, my, my further thoughts on, like, Three Hopes itself, um, check out my review of it. I did it last week. I'll... Yeah, it, I posted it like a week ago. But anyways, that's it for this uh, unboxing video. So thank you guys for watching this. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Three Hopes in the comments. And I will see you guys later. Peace out, everybody, and have a great day.